Hello there, peeps, and welcome. My name is Dan, and today we play Paranormal Entities. Very loud. We are playing as Cliff, a college student, who is a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities. The number two rated ghost investigation show on the Hunting and Outdoors Cable Network. You have been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the Mentally Ill. You will go into this facility, follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece, keep your camera on, and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera, then... Start. Sensitivity is insane. No options, so we're going to keep it like that. Ooh. Right. Um, buttons. Locked in. Christ, this sensitivity is high up. <coughs> Excuse me. It's Jesus. Right. Can I run? I can't run. Uh, slightly disturbing. So is that. Let's venture on. Ooh. Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So mm. here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Oh, well. Sorry. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone for public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse, nobody cared. And once you came to this place, you never left. You can check in any time you like but can never leave. There's an insane amount of crosses here. So, we'll take a right first, I suppose. Good. This open? No. We'll go in here. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, and the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, flaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. Uh, who was this? Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll <clears> hopefully <throat> be able to awaken this place. Alright. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine. Please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Or, or don't. Okay, play that back. Let us know that you're here. Uh, nothing. Alright, let's try that again. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Let's just go home. Alright, alright, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, 
please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you're here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. All right, let's try one more spot. No, nothing. No such thing as ghosts. It's a fake program. <sighs> ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up Don't call or that. piss off. Ah! No, hear what? Play that back, play that back. Pricks, show up or piss off. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Cool. Uh, Cool. Um, is that this one? Oh, something appeared on here. Patient rooms. Locked. Oh, this one. Locked. Oh, it's not locked. Is that more? Yeah, this way. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract. The e social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who were deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. What, in this room? No, this room. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. We will begin. We'll walk into the center. Of what room? I thought it was this room. Locked. Staircase. Locked. Patient rooms. Locked. What about here? What's that? Over here. This is the entrance to patient cells 200 through 219. Eh, we're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Yeah, yeah. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. Um, guess we'll just have to go somewhere else. Like, home. Um, middle of the room. I am in the middle of the room. Uh, let's go back. Back this way. Oh, that's locked now. Everything's locked. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths, the worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think Clive he would be Peeper? a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a memer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked, too. Let's just start the ceremony. Oh, yeah. Inside this asylum, we know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person oh, is no God. longer shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way. Oh my it. God! Dude. 
I'm loving this. Absolutely loving this. Oh, what a shame they're all locked. What a shame. <laughs> This is where they stayed. Ah! Oh! We're all good. This is not scary. Fine. Huh? Oh, it's open. Wait, oh, it's just a storage room. Hello there. Are you okay? You're gonna make me poop my pants, aren't ya? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> Get out. Cut them out. Run. Peeper. Peeper! Get out, Peeper! Get out, Peeper! Run, Peeper! Die, no eyes, Peeper! Peeps! Oh my god! Get the hell out of there! Just, just go to the front door and get out! Ah! Uh, yeah, but I can't run! Ha ha ha! Peeper! Peeper! Oh my god! It's gonna be locked, isn't it? Alright, get out of this hallway and then take, a, take your second right. Second right. That was, I came from there. Door's locked. Damn it, damn it. Oh, okay. There's a, there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So, so go up the staircase. I wonder what made him change his mind. Tell me to get out. That's also locked, mate. Buddy, are you gonna say something? Hello? Are we still in touch with base? The staircase is locked. Oh, uh, okay, we need to... Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. No. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the... What, what is going on? I don't know. Alright, alright, just... I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. That's exactly what I'm thinking as well. Oh, we see you, we see you, we see you. Uh, love it. Loving it. And this it? Surgery. That's what you get for doing, trying to summon ghosts. Ah. Follow the candles. What the fuck is that? Hello?
ね。Everything's locked. No, no. Aha! Oh! Fuck! <laughs> And we go on. This game's fine, I've still got a steady heart rate at about 200. Nothing scary about this. It's Peepers! Peepers playing games with me! Hello? Don't see. No eyes. Don't see. Peepers! Mr. Peepers! Oh, the blood now. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Flashlight back on. Huh? Oh my god, I keep I'm in a cell now. Ah, at least it's unlocked. Nope. Hello? Oh, this is an office. Uh, Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kinda hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the, there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man. And、uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day. You know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free, he was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights, too. His pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. Yeah, you、so, better pay me more than $500 for this one. I'll get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Why would I do that? I don't really want to shut my eyes either. Oh, good crouch. Oh, oh. Don't know. Let's get back up. Damn flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. No, don't. Something's gonna happen with that. Did you say come here? Hello? Poke him with the flashlight. Nothing. Four goes around. What? I see you now. Ah. Oh my! I can't 
run. do it. I know you're not, huh? Holy crap. All right, all right. We're, we're, we're getting a picture from your camera. Bad news is it's pitch black. There, there's no light. Your room, there's nothing I could see. The flashlight went out, and, and we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. I'm, nice, hell no. buddy. Just Look, leave me in here. You can also come in here and not Sorry. summon the ghosts. Hmm? Oh. Oh, heck. Make this game in 10 days. Good going. Oh. Wow. Yeah. I definitely shot myself. So, I'm gonna get a new pair of pants, and I'll see you guys next time! <laughs>